Hey, sneaky house, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Yes, today we have the latest release of Bodhi Linux, or Bodhi Linux, or Bodhi with Doyle. Now, Bodhi Linux is the one we're in. We're at 1.4 today, just been released. It's around about 400 megabytes to download. Installs really, really quickly. A lot quicker than the last time I installed it, which wasn't too long ago, actually. And this was going to be the last release before they went over to the 12.04, okay? But that may now not happen, okay? I don't know what's going to go down just yet. But anyway, we'll come to that a bit in a bit. As you can see, we've got some nice new backgrounds. Lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly. And some new themes, etc, etc. Right, the, one of the first things that's been changed is, if I go to in here, today, it's today, so I've got three pages open for you. This is the latest version of Midori. It's 1.4.1, I think it is. Something like that, anyway. So yes, and this is the home screen. Midori, I've always liked for a long time, and now it's getting nice and nice and nice and stable. Especially on E17 and XFCE, which is really nice. As you can see, got the animation stuff going down on the main page here. If you want to download it, you can go here, but they would prefer you to get it as a torrent, because they've only got so much you know, space and bandwidth to use. Okay, let's step it out of the way. I'll close that window there. Now, also on the Bodhi site, <clears throat> we get Bodhi Art. I thought I'd do this while we're here, actually. Get some more themes, icons, and GTK themes, and Plymouth loading screens, which is very good, too. You also get some, you know, animated wallpapers he's supplied here. Now, I did try and download a couple, but it wasn't having any of it at all. So either they're migrating their servers now, or they're in the middle of doing something, or something that's gone a bit wrong. Okay, okay. But I might try again in a minute. As you can see, some nice ones here. That one's been around for a while, it's very nice. That one looks super duper duper, doesn't it? I'm not going to get that via Dropbox, but I might get that in a minute, actually, after I've done this video with you, okay? So you can get some more animated wallpapers as well. Get some conky stuff, a small, a mini, and a massive conky. You get some colour palettes from Bodai. Font guide, LXDM theme files, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so that's that bit out of the way. Okay, yes. Should we close that one now? Yes. Now also, instead of just using Synaptic Package Manager, which I would normally use myself, you can actually use this to install applications. Now I've already installed Flash to make sure it worked, basically. And say for instance you wanted some image editing stuff, okay? Or a screenshot tool. So we go to Screenshot Tool, and it's called Shutter, the one they're going to use here. Now to install it, instead of having to go to Synaptic and going that way around, to make it easier for some people, you can just click here, where it says Shutter, Shutter, Bloody hell, it's 47.2 megabytes, so I won't be having that. But you go to the uh, thing you want, basically, and just you can just go install now. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Works for me, anyway. Anyway, go back again, go back again. Let's see if we can find a really quick, mm, tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Ripping. What have we got in ripping? See, ain't got nothing there I want for ripping. No, 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 asunder there, is there? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Got some desktop fun stuff down here. But most of this you should be able to get, right? In synaptic package manager but if you're not comfortable doing that this is the baby for you what we got under word processors now in theory we should have abby word and that's 34.1 hmm that's quite long isn't it so i'm not sure if i'm going to install something today i might have gone off that because they're quite large downloads bearing in mind it has to bring in all the extras it needs to run anyway okay so don't worry about it too much really it's just got to be done sometimes got to be done anyway what else can I say? Oh, there's video editors as well, and some codecs, and media center, and stuff like that. So it's all here for you to get if you really want stuff, or you can just get the big packs. Now this is why Bodhi Linux is only 400 megs, or just over, because they've stripped loads and loads of stuff out, and you just add what you want on top of what there's there, okay? Anyway, we'll quickly go to the Bibica, just to make sure the page renders. I think we need to install some more fonts here, don't you? Yes, I do, yes. But I can do that another time. Yes, renders fine, that looks good to me, yes, looks good to me. If I go over to the iPlayer here, sorry you can't get that in the US, but we have it here. And normally that would work. Now normally I could click on there and it'll start playing, but if I do that, I'll be breaking the law, so I won't be doing that, okay? So that seems to work all hunky-dory. Right, out of that we come. If we go to the menu, oh, by the way, did I tell you it's using the brand new kernels, 3.2... 3.2.0, I can't remember the last bit, I think it's 12, might be 12 then, I can't remember, but that's what I'm using. Applications, under accessories, we get elementary test, of course it's always there, the file manager, leaf pad, and LX terminal. Under preferences, we also get language support, LXDM, auto login, which if you're new to Linux, that might be an easy way for you as well. 
You've got our NTFS configuration tool, the software sources and synaptic package manager, which I would prefer to use personally. And just Midori for your web browser. That is all you get. Yes. Would you want anything else? I don't know. Should we take a screenshot? Yeah, got it. So we click take a screenshot. We'll have it in high. Yeah, looks all right. And we'll go to save. And we'll save in, well, there. We'll save there. Yeah, let's do five, four, three, two. Did that work or didn't it work? No, it didn't work. I don't think I I closed it down instead. What an idiot. As you can say, you've got a wide network here. Here's your volume over here, and here's our clock going down. What an idiot I was there. What did I do that for? Anyway, I'm not going to bother going back to that. As with E17, you get your usual virtual shelves and virtual desktops, etc., etc. It's all here for you to configure. There's lots of videos out there on configuring E17. Oh, one little thing, when I've done my screen resolution for this video, I've got a couple of seg faults. So this ain't not quite right with E17 just yet. We get a quick start guide here, so I'm gonna open that. In theory, that should open Midori. And no, it hasn't, see? So that's another one there, look. Okay, this, that page won't do that. So would you try again? No, it's not going to do it. So that also doesn't work correctly either, which is a bit of a bummer. But hey, I'm sure it'll fix that along the line, won't you, Jeff? Say so yes. Yes, I will. Add software, you can do that. It'll also take to the page. And artwork, also take to, to a page as well. Under settings, you get your settings panel. If you've never seen E17, this is one of the babies we go to. So you can choose your look, your applications, create launchers, etc., etc. Your screen resolution, if I go along here a bit further your windows, display and focus, and geometry, and your menu settings, and your language, and your files, and your input, and your advanced. So you can do everything you really want, super duper. You can configure a lot. If some of you are having trouble configuring E17, I might do a video next month on it, on configuration of E17, but don't count me on that. So what do I think? Oh, it's a bit about them seg faults, otherwise I, will, otherwise I would have gave it a higher score, but I'm still gonna give it 90. Lovely, jubbly of the jubbly. Sneaky Linux. Out. As you later. But high. And oil.